Tori, we're back in action. We actually did have one game of the current best of five between Furry and Ryan Just one. take place. Sorry about that. You didn't need <laughs> to see it. It was actually kind of close, you know. See. Not, you know, not to boast or anything. I, I saw it live. All right. <laughs> but going into it, Ryan taking game one. Yep. Uh, pretty close. Palutena versus Snake yep. for it being the Palutena and the Snake for Ryan, respectively. Right. So going into this is going to be a good old Washington versus Oregon clash. Nice. With Furret, the man who's named after the turn. It's Furret's Fiesta number two. Fiesta. Ryan, I swear if you take this set, it's going to be personal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> actually, uh, I, I like I like how his name tag was changed. Like, uh, now now he's Fu Red. <laughs> uh, I, I, I like it a lot. Uh, so yeah, actually, Snake taking game number one. Thank you everybody for waiting on us. We appreciate that you are still here. We appreciate the patience. We're back, as Chapavelli very ad uh, adequately mentioned. We're back in Fu Red's Fiesta number two. The keep it chill in its sixth iteration. We're going into Pokemon Pokemon Stadium two. Uh, Palutena and a snake, something, uh, a character I think we're going to be seeing a lot, uh, right? The Palutena seems quite prominent in this bracket. Yeah, no, top seed Chase himself is going to be representing the character, and for it's not going to be too far behind. Mm. And of course, Snake, though, we might see Ryan making an of just as equivalent of a run as well. Mm. One of these two is going to have to go down, but it's going to be an exciting set Ooh. nevertheless. When you get those little empty hop up yep. tilts like that, it's going to be a banger. Yeah, that was kind of clean, absolutely beautiful uh, execution from Ryan, who's just uh, putting out a, a, a what's it called a masterclass in being patient in being aggressive and being accurate effective to get those stocks absolutely love the way that he moves around making sure that those c4s are an actual threat at all times and uh, the explosions that are, are always always a latent uh, hazard that you need to take care of. <laughs> now it comes with the character. You have to be as tactical as possible. Yep. And Ryan does that in spades and droves. Yikes. And you're seeing the reads right there. He's got this shit down to a method. Oh, Ooh, and the counter isn't even Jeez. safe with all the setup. That was an up smash. <laughs> that was a C4. He said, "Go to the next game immediately. <laughs> Get this shit moving." Yeah, that, that was kind of that was kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie, pretty pretty raw to be honest. Furt struggling gets uh, an attempted drag down, but he gets the uh, important part, which is the up tilt. Great stuff right, uh, right there at the platform as well. Unfortunately, those explosions are not helping uh, Furt. Not a lot. I mean, he is getting damage off of them. But uh, oh, there you go, there you go. Now he's now getting stuff. Now we got Palutena's doing Palutena exactly. things. Exactly. He's not missing those, and he, I mean, he's kind of bringing it back. Que bonito. Woo! Beautiful spike to start things up. All right, we were talking up Ryan in that first part, and for I said, mm, mm -hmm. he hurt us. He said, no, now I'm mad. Now I, like that. Now I will try. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. I'm a sucker for spikes and for it. Getting a beautifully executed one definitely brings things back. Uh, it's not actually not looking pretty for Ryan now, despite the fact that he won game number one. He was pretty dominant at the beginning of this second one. For it, immediately bringing it back in a very flashy fashion. All right, with a grenade trade and just trying to see who can take over the platform i'm loving the patience see. i'm loving for its awareness too with the spot dodge after the immediate shield pressure earlier and now we're seeing him hold his time with so many explosives and just trying to hold his ground fading away every single snake option so he can try and close out with the backer he's not going to find it in fact it's gonna be ryan with a trade here we go though now Pressure sequence off the ledge. Just fire every up smash in the book. Just keep going over and over and over again. And with the no jab to hold him at bay, it's not going to be it just yet. But says a Oops. lot as it seals game two. But that wow. was narrow. That was down See. the wire. For it started that last stock so, so strong. But it just takes one opportunity for Ryan to just go yep. boom, 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 and then set up the <laughs> cylinder and just keep sending in explosives. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of rough for uh, Furit, who couldn't find a, a solid footing on that recovery. I mean, to be fair, Snake has an infinite amount of ways to pressure you offstage specifically. We didn't see Nikita uh, for a lot. I don't I don't think, I don't recall, which is interesting. To be fair, Ryan demonstrating that he, he doesn't need it. And uh, just to make it, uh, 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 to make a clarification, it's 2-0 on Ryan's favor. Yeah, no, it's clear that uh, with that first game, we probably just saw, we didn't get to see the information that Ryan got to uh, experience against Fur. He probably has some answers. I feel like Palutena has some good Nikita responses. Right. So it's going to be like, maybe like, all right, we're going to look at different routes and different routes he did find because Ryan is just keeping 
everything so, so clean and consistent. But Furret is returning the favor and then some, maybe even trying to close out the stock potentially. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. I, I, I gassed him up a little too much. It <laughs> is on you 100% because, I mean, Furret had that. I mean, he was uh, he was locked in. Unfortunately, he's going to talk to me after this. See, see. <laughs> not committing there for another spike. So every single explosion is just adding up to the pressure that Ryan is putting out on Furret. I mean, it's it's insane so far. The amount of damage to parry on the down air, that's kind of crazy because that just allows Ryan to get it ever more damaged. I mean, to be fair, he's very close to getting that stock. Nikita just to safely cover his landing. But I mean, to be fair, he, he only needs those explosions to make sure that the stock is taken. Now, I like the C4 into the immediate frame one grenade, knowing that Furret's gonna think of it as an opening. And he's like, all right, that thing, this thing comes out immediately. We're cutting that off. And I'm gonna bide some more time and try and get this win right here and just try and extend this lead and extend. Holding off the, holding so many projectiles at bay. Sometimes a third person shooter with these two characters. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be so real. <laughs> it kinda is. It's like a bullet hell, to be honest. <laughs> you have to, you have to be uh, ready for every single interaction. Great catch, threading the needle, uh, going between the C4 and the grenade, which could have been deadly. This is a good opening for uh, for it. Unfortunately, falling short just enough so that he couldn't get a little bit of extra damage. And to be fair. One single touch of that super soldier is going to be enough to get rid of that second stock. Dude, the way Ryan just runs in immediately on Furret's shield, on Furret's everything, it's terrifying. It's yep. undeterred. Speaking of which, with the stage tech, he is not done just yet. Oh. There we go. Again, the frame one. That's unfortunate. Furret, Furret's checking him a lot, and I think Ryan's just kind of like, cool, I can just keep getting away with this See. then. And I'm just going to keep holding this For aerial control. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> that, was a, that was a ladder combo. That was a pillar combo. This is not melee, bro. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Oh, there okay, you okay, go. Okay, okay, uh, try, okay. Try to give it back, right? <laughs> I mean, try to be saucy. You, you get sauced on as well. Now, Fred has a good opportunity here to get something started. I like that empty hop to get the grab. Unfortunately, getting stuck on the platform is almost costing him enough damage to be very close to kill a person. Furret needs to be very patient and he knows this. That's why he's being very measured in the approaches that he's picking. Careful, grenade at hand. Nice, good way to extend that fair damage. Cuts him out of the sky, takes the grenade trade just so that his forward air can land. He goes high into the sky, knows the C4 is coming out. Oh, Ooh. tried to catch the landing, but no, overextended just far enough to get away. Turn around, throw. <laughs> it's the scramble situation. Ryan, is he going to be able to close this one out? There we go, explosion. Nice. No and Nikita, though. So that means that uh, he's not confident in that. He'd much rather wait for the ledge trap or have that as an option. There you go, the first Nikita that we see in a while, not connecting to Barely its target. Too. Watch out, though. He is absolutely done, and that is going to be, I believe, a game three. There you go. They're standing up. 3-0, yes, Ryan Fortunate. moves on, but not without a tumultuous. That was yep. winner's round two, by the way. See. Oh, my goodness. But excellent stuff from both players. 3-0, but it was close, though. All right? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> first, <laughs> literally. Close, though. No, right. literally. <laughs> like, this is not to throw shade or anything. I think Fred played wonderfully, to be honest. I mean, he was very close to just confirming those games. Unfortunately, he was very short, uh, cut short. Uh, because of Ryan's, right? I mean, he, he did a phenomenal job at ledge trapping specifically. Those extensions were super clean, super yes. nice, you know? Oh, the my God. The pillar, co the pillar combo from See. the <laughs> footstool. Oh, my See. goodness. No, it's Ryan has been a speculative Washington player for a long time. Climbed the ladder super, super fast. Mm. Felt like out of nowhere in some instances. See. And we're seeing why now.